Hello everyone, welcome to this particular video. In this one, we're just going to look inside Azure Monitor and just kind of play with it and learn as we go. Now Azure Monitor is very, very important to monitor your cloud resources, how they're working, to troubleshoot them, to get alerts, to respond to those events. So and there are lots of different things that you can you collect. You collect logs, uh, activity log, and other type of logs. And you also collect metric data. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to go and just search for monitor here. And it shows up. So I'm going to go to monitor. Now this monitor, if you go over here, you see that you have kind of a little bit of uh, three major things that are defined in your home screen or the overview blade. So the first thing is monitor and visualize metrics. Okay, metrics and numerical values available from Azure resources helping you to understand the health, operation and performance of your systems. The other thing that you can do is query and analyze logs logs are activity logs diagnostic log and, and telemetry for monitoring solutions analytics queries help with troubleshooting and visualization so you can do that so visualization is part of both of these metrics and the logs and set up alerts and actions so when do you want to get notification this is where you are going to set up alert notification uh, notify you to critical conditions and potentially take corrective automated actions based on triggers from metric log. So this is very, very cool. So you can automatically fix problem if you figure out, that, okay, there is some problem going to happen. Okay. So let's just click some of this. So monitor and visualize. Let's just click on it. So what do you see? All right. So this brings us to this metrics metrics section all right here you have the browse here resource type and location if you want to choose for a particular location so you can deselect all maybe go for east us that's where i have my resources deployed at this time and the, this button is it working yeah so it's working it's okay uh here you can add some search filter to filter items if you like scope i'm just gonna stick to my whole whole sponsorship that i have whole azure sponsorship that i'm working with now here just remember that you cannot select multiple resources for this type of metric graph it has to be one type of report azure limits selection of resources to one resource type only because different resources you know they will have different type of metric and it only makes sense to look at each type of uh, resource at a time right so what you need to do once you have the subscription you've got to drill down and uh, the way you go you come over here say maybe you want to look at a storage account okay then it gives you okay location is tvs we already said and it's going to give you if you have multiple storage account it will list all of them i have only one so i can click over there okay and then you have this so now this metric is going to show you uh your metrics for this particular storage account now once you come over here this is you know on in the first class it may seem a little confusing like when i first came to this view I thought okay I probably need to click on on these little charts but that's not the right thing to do so over here this is my scope that's the metric namespace and here you actually need to uh, select the metric but for this account it says we are sorry we are unable to retrieve these values so this one we cannot even do anything so let's go back and let's um, select another resource and see if we have some data available for this one so i want to choose this one again uh what about virtual machine okay virtual machine is tvs you see that i don't have to choose anything else just say apply 
and again over here virtual machine this time let's see see if you credit the remaining so okay so this I have something going on 43 35 whatever that's remaining that's what it's telling us okay so this is I'm not 100% sure what is if you create remaining because I'm using a trial subscription this trying to tell me how much is still going to be available to us but that maybe is not super useful to me let's look at CPU credit consumed so it looks like in last uh, how long so it's gonna give us uh, local time 24 hours in the last 24 hours what's happening that's what is telling me so I can click on this icon right over here and I can go and only take a look at last 30 minutes if I like okay so that's what 30 minutes nothing much is going on last four hours you can hit apply so yeah so at eight o'clock something happened after nine something happened so uh, that's good uh, I can add more filter if I like uh, property if there's any property resource ID and operator then I can uh, if there are multiple systems I can go down and select a particular resource like this is now uh, selected for the Ubuntu system only okay so let's go back so you got to kind of feel how this monitor and visualize matrix that's working right uh, net, next just uh, go to our query and analyze logs that blade and if you come over here you see there's not really much going on it just says logs and as your monitor log analytics is a tool used to produce insights from as your monitor log so but I don't have any log analytics available in this particular Azure instance that I'm using right now so you can click on get started and let's see where it takes us so it's taking us to a log logs blade and over here and if I can do anything you may only choose items from the same resource type okay so just say apply and uh, from for the logs this subscription I just, just got enabled today it seems like I still don't have any logs so there may be several reasons for this you may have just configured log collection logs may take several minutes to appear for VM resource make sure you are using most recent version of log analytics agent for non VM you may need to configure diagnostic settings uh, you don't you don't have access to workspace that's contain the log data so I think that is the problem I think I do not have any maybe proper workspace defined so let's just go back over here so that didn't work so come back over here uh, to see create rule if we can create a rule okay looks like alert rule create an alert rule to identify the address issues uh, and address issues when important conditions are found in your monitoring data so here first you gotta again define a resource for which you want to get your alerts so I got to the subscription let's see what we can do and if we can drill down inside this particular subscription and get a resource where we're going to add uh, okay so I have this uh, particular resource what do we want to do I just want to see the virtual machine maybe just let me see let me just search virtual machines okay that's all I need right now so if I do this um, here is even I can drill down to a one particular machine so I can say yes yeah, so that's my resource what is the condition so select a condition here uh, person CPU consume I'm just looking for something like shutdown okay start 
Okay, so that will come from the activity log. So let's get this one. Start virtual machine over the last six hours. I have no data over the last three days. I have no data available at this time. Okay, configure signal logic chart period last three days. Okay, so let's go back and let's uh, just uh, person just stick to something simple maybe. Uh, this is what is going on. Uh, person CPU 0 0.67 and it says new dynamic threshold automatically says the threshold for you and adapts to changes so you can go to dynamics instead of the static threshold you can go to the dynamic threshold if you like this LR criteria will not be active until actionable thresholds can be calculated too many anomalies in the analysis history Okay, so now you can um, configure your operator, your, your aggregation type, threshold sensitivity, and uh, aggression granularity. How often do you want to collect that? Five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, okay? Uh, and frequency of evaluation, how frequently do you want to go and do this exercise? So, um, we can choose that one so create done so this one this alert rule just know that there is a cost associated with it whenever the average percent CPU greater than the dynamic threshold that is going to be automatically determined and uh, you will be spending about 10 cents a month okay now, so you have defined your resource, you have defined what you want to know from the metric, and then you still have to define an action group, okay? So you have to create an action group, and that's where you're gonna configure your user ID, uh, I mean, email address and stuff like that, action group name, say, as your action group, okay mm. alerts azure and resource group uh, i can just put it under keep it now action i'm just gonna say email selects an accent type it could be email webhook service webhook logic app istm email sms push voice email as your resource manager role as your function as your run book so i'm just going to select this one and here uh the configure is over here that's showing up so i'm just going to click on yes uh, email and i'm going to use uh, just use my regular gmail account okay gmail.com all right, so that gives me uh, all the configurations that I need to set up my accent group. So it's not gonna send me any uh, phone call or voice messages. It's not gonna send me an SMS. It will just email it to me, so that's fine. Enable the common alert schema. So you can enable that. Enable the common alert schema might break any existing integration. So just be careful and if you're not sure, just keep it maybe no. In my case, I don't have to worry about too much. I don't have too much going. I'm just gonna enable it. Um, hit okay. So always good to test your anything new in a developer environment and then roll it back to, uh, roll it up to your production. So that's now good. So we have now an action group that's going to email me whenever a certain alert rule is met so whenever the alert rule detects a okay this event met my criteria so it's going to email me all right so we configured all of that this is the alert group and alert rule detail that's the last thing 
specify the rule name here we are talking about a CPU usage something like that you can put uh, severity whatever you want to define as three is fine enable alert rule, rule upon creation so that's fine you just now say create rule and that should be creating the first alert rule and it should be sending us uh, alert messages okay everyone um, so what I really want to do I want to break down um, some of the features into smaller videos because it's a lot to cover in one video for the monitor but I think we got enough uh, introduction next things that we really want to do is set up alerts looks a little bit more into metrics and the logs surface health is something where you can go and you can get uh, issues if Azure has any problems okay so here it says no issues found and you see that there's like two little dot marks so that's where probably your uh, my resources are now deployed okay you can look at uh, plan maintenance if uh, Azure has announced any plan maintenance here there is nothing uh, scheduled right now you can look at the health adv advisories uh, security advisories and you can even look at your history of the health advisory resource health and health alert like this account I already, already created like two days back so I don't have too much history on it but you may have some so if I go back to my monitor again uh, other thing that's uh, important and I think probably deserves another dedicated video is the workbooks uh, where you can create a different workbook to see different things okay um, we'll probably go through this getting started with a workbook and what you can do with it uh, maybe the next video but spend some time it, it, it deserves its own uh, dedicated video now inside is something uh, all the logs and everything this is what as you monitor is now this is there they're, they're calling everything insights uh, so as your machine diagnostic logs it's giving you insight what's going on what's the overall picture application insights it's completely for it's very advanced and it's for the web application storage accounts all the logs what's the inside container uh, networks okay so here you have groupings by your major uh, type of resources and if you click on any of these different things will show up that's going to give you very nice view graphical presentation of your overall resource health and if anything bad happened uh, in type of server incidents alerts you received all of that will show up over here and this experience is, is similar some some other you, you, you have to configure like I don't have a con container so there's nothing in here uh, storage account I do have some stuff uh, no subscription now it's coming up with the storage account so there's only one storage account so I have nothing much going on and it's yeah so this is the details of my of my storage account that you can see over here you can click on your storage account it might give you uh, some more information about it yeah so what it what it did it took me to the storage account itself and on the storage account here you have this in insights under monitoring okay so it's over here so it's telling me transaction by storage type what's going on what's going on over here all the used capacity and all of that is so you many different type of graphs and you can you can uh, customize any of them and, and play with it okay so we go back to monitor so we looked at kind of this plate settings we uh, if you want to enable diagnostic setting for different resources you can do that from here as well so if you click on it it will show up what type of resources uh, you want to enable and I have enabled three of them already but if you want to do that you just need to click on it and this experience is also very similar to many others it would tell you if you click on the add diagnostic setting what can you monitor okay so if I click on that I'll show you for this one so these are the three things that you're gonna get okay 
uh, metric if you want you can get all metrics as well you can send them to the log tag log analytics stream to event hub or even archive to a storage account if you select that one zero means it's gonna stay forever but if you don't want to store them uh, you can change this number to 1 to 365 so it will either store between one day and a year okay so that's kind of what I wanted to show you uh, in that one auto scale I have not designed anything but if you actually I have a web application that is but the auto scale status for that one is disabled uh, it's a free instance so you cannot do anything with it but if you do have something that automatically auto scale uh, they will show up over here and you can see how that's going on uh, private link I don't have anything so and then we have a uh, another place for sub support and troubleshooting usage and estimated cost you can look at the advisor recommendation how you can uh, advisor gives you a lot of recommendations like I have two recommendations right now about improved data resilience and performance and your business continuity in case of issue region change okay so I have a couple advisor but more and more resources you start deploying uh, you will see very important uh, recommendations from Azure will show up uh, over here. So, uh, download PDF, download as PDF, download as CSV, so lots of things for reporting as well. So, just use it uh, and um, just see what you can do, how it can help you monitoring your in environment. Anyway, if, if you're studying for the exam, I think it's a good overview. Um, what like all the different blades what I'll do next I'll probably start doing a little bit more hands-on on on a, on a smaller topic like how to how to create an alert you know how to go to, go to logs how to do workbooks uh, and, and create smaller videos so you can go uh, into a little bit more deeper so please catch up in my follow-up videos which where I'm planning to continue with the monitor a little bit further all right if you're studying for the exam good luck uh, thank you for watching this video